Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and now it's time for episode 40 of my question and answer series. I'm finally back to normal. No more sicknesses. My voice seems back to normal, I think. This Q&A only has three comments, or at least the previous Q&A only had three comments left on it, so this is going to be a very short episode, which is good because now I can go ahead and record all the product reviews and other videos that I've been having saved up for the past three weeks or so. Anyway, starting at the bottom with Rad Cell 8. Hey, I think I found a perfect Ultrabook all around. I'm just hoping they would release an Intel Haswell version right when it comes out. Or right when it comes out, so it's not out yet. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. So this is the Asus ZenBook Prime UX 31A. Googling that, let's go to the Amazon listing so I can get the full specs. Well, they have different variations of it, so I'm not too sure the exact specs, but here we go. We have a dual core, Core i7, that's a pretty standard mobile processor nowadays. We have a full HD 1080p display that's 13 inches in size. That resolution to me is a bit too high because honestly it's going to make things on a 13 inch screen look very small. So that to me just isn't practical. It's also going to use more of your HD 4000's resources because it has to power more pixels. There's going to be more virtual or excuse me more video memory that has to be used when powering a higher resolution display. So I don't really like the idea of having that high of a resolution display in an Ultrabook. I can see why people would want it though, but me personally I just don't think it's necessary. We have four gigabytes of RAM, two USB 2 ports. I don't know about USB 3 ports, but we do have pretty standard stuff. Windows 7, 128 gig SSD, one battery, of course, because you're not going to have two. <clears throat> Overall, it seems like a pretty uh, decent Ultrabook. I mean, other than the MacBook Air, I would definitely go for an Asus because it best represents a MacBook Air in terms of the wedge design as you can see. You also get extra ports compared to a MacBook Air. The design is very similar. It's quality built stuff from Asus. Its price seems pretty good. They don't have any new options but you do have a few refurbished and a few used options. Not too sure if that's the exact model that you're thinking about but yeah I mean Ultrabooks nowadays are very competitive although I would still recommend either a MacBook Air or an Asus ZenBook of some sort. From Sid Hearth there, had to install custom fonts into a jailbroken iOS 6 and Android device after root and jailbreaking. Well, for jailbroken iDevices, I think you have to install Byta font from Cydia, B-Y-T-A-F-O-N-T. As far as Android, I'm not too sure. I think Android, it's much easier to change system fonts. I don't think you even need a root to do that because by default, you should be able to change the font on your device. From Christopher James Gray, would you recommend upgrading an iPhone 4 to the iPhone 5 at the moment or wait until WWDC? I have a strange feeling Apple will throw a curveball and release the iPhone 6 or even add something drastically different with the new phone. For the past three or four years, the track record has remained the same with Apple phones. You have the main release of a phone the year after that you have a slightly different version with some upgraded internals so we had the 3g and then the 3gs we had the 4 and then the 4s so now we have the 5 and most likely we will we will have the 5s it's unlike apple to do a huge increment in between devices so quickly although they did do it with the ipad the ipad 3 to the iphone to the uh, excuse me ipad 4 but the differences between those two weren't as drastic as, let's say, an iPhone 4 to an iPhone 5. So, to answer your question, I would go ahead and wait because there's definitely going to be a new iPhone of some sort, whether it be a 5 or really the next iteration of iPhones, sometime within the next 3 to 4 months. So, I would definitely hold on on upgrading. And that's actually it with this Q&A. So next week is episode 41. If you have any questions that you would like me to try and answer, go ahead and leave those down below in the comments area. Otherwise, that is it with this video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.